as we said earlier in the previous module that writers because they know we are following maxims of cooperation. So, the reader understand that the speaker would give me right kind of information, required information, relevant information, these are expectations. But the speaker can exploit your expectations to convey, to propagate his her own ideologies and ideas etc. This is the place where this theory is directly relevant to our course language and gender and this is the point which we need to understand to become a critical thinker and a researcher. Often writers violate maxims knowingly, they do it, they know that the reader trusts me and you uh, are very well aware of this fact in life in general. Many a time the persons we trust more, they deceive us, same is the case here. Often writers violate maxims knowingly, consciously, they do so because they know the reader believes him or her. The reader believes that the writer is providing information that is true, that is relevant, etc. These expectations of the reader for the writer's cooperation can be used. These expectations of the reader, the reader expects this from the writer. So, they can be exploited by the writer to propagate, to communicate is her own agenda, propaganda, ideologies, etc. Grice theory alerts the reader. This is the benefit. This is the crucial benefit of this theory. It alerts the reader. It makes him or her competent to, uh, to know this tactic, this strategy used by the writer and similarly by the speaker. In this way, the reader will come out of the shell of cooperation. He would be alerted. Alerted when he understands the speaker is violating facts. And what happens? The reader does not trust withholds cooperation on his part. During this withholding, the reader reaches the hidden intentions of the writer. That is a kind of reaction of non cooperation. The reader will not take everything evidential. The reader would stop thinking that this is a true evidence, this is relevant, etc. So, this is withholding of cooperation. For example, see this text. We have discussed the law against early marriages, but how can we set aside the natural desire to become a mother? So, there was some debate. Debate was on uh, premature or early marriages, and the law was under debate. Okay. So, instead of giving arguments to support or to oppose the law, a question comes from uh, the, uh, the person, the speaker and uh, that question is, what should we do with the desire to become a mother? Now, in this extract, in this piece of text, we see that instead of providing information about premature marriages and the, and the law especially about that. Instead of providing information or evidence to support or oppose that law, what is done? A question is asked. This question diverts attention to another argument. And why the attention is diverted? Because the person does not have anything to say about the current topic. 
this is what we have already called begging begging a question fallacy or circular reasoning clearly the question will hide information about the current topic or there is no available information the question also shows that the writer presupposes that a desire to become motherhood exists okay an argument in response to argument is created for first argument there was no evidence and a new argument is started by posing a new question but where are the evidence about this new argument that is not available here if the reader knows grice maxim he she will find out violation of quantity and maxim by the writer it means the reader would understand that here the writer is not providing information that is required and sufficient information is not provided irrelevant talk is being done so the the speaker or the writer is violating the first maxim that is called maxim of quantity this will alert the reader to stop proper i expect that you do this task to understand the application of this point select at least five short texts like this one from an english newspaper on some mood point mood point on which there is hot debate find out where any one or more of grice maxims are violated how will you explain the violations in violations you will tell here is violation of maxim of quality or maxim of quantity or maxim of relevance etc we conclude this module as a researcher and student of language and gender the course we are studying can use grice maxims to develop his her critical thinking skill instead of relying on logical and uh, emotional fallacies